you want these tires to pop, let this man hear you. The new fourth generation Dodge Challenger drive. We got Suave over here making my setup look yeah. bad. Nah. <laughs> Your shoulders are gonna hurt less. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Zach Sandstrom and welcome to the channel. So we're at SEMA. I'm here with the Moparian group. We got uh, Mr. Rico Suave doing his thing. We got the rest of the crew around here somewhere. I decided I was gonna go ahead and start vlogging. I've been walking around for a couple hours now, and honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as vlogging and getting y'all content, man, because there's just too much to see in general when you're out here. So, I'm gonna do the absolute best that I can to walk around, but I figured, you know what? Let's start the day, or the week, rather, at Mopar. I mean, what, what better? I mean, most of my following, most of you guys are all, Mopar fans, I mean, we got the 300. Well, I don't even know if there's a Chrysler. I guess they're just Mopar out here. But this will be revealed. So I'm sure we'll be here to record that. I've got the. Sorry, I'm like walking around, make sure I don't run into stuff. So I've also got the tripod and external mic set up. I don't feel like standing in that line. Pretty cool though, a little virtual simulation in a demon car drag strip. But we got some more over here. What's up, buddy? Oh. Excuse me? Oh, we got everybody over here. Alright. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get you guys some cool content. Let's see. I don't know what I'm gonna go show you guys. Let's just go see what's out here. So what are we arguing about, guys? Creativity. Creativity. <laughs> that was like the straight answer. <laughs> he said creativity. All right, so I'm here with the Moparian guys. They don't even care. They're just over here communicating and shit, arguing. They're actually really funny people to hang out with. So, y'all want to introduce yourself? You want me to do it? You know? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I don't know Let these know. guys. I just, I'm not even here. I just ran into them. Okay. We're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. Just, just hanging out. Best mobile park over here. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that, bro. Yeah, it's it like it. You can pet it it's and stuff. That's pretty cool. Just another yeah. work. I like. So, what are we doing here in the mobile area? I mean, this is this is y'all's area, this right? Is, this is our area, bro. Right? Let's see what we're doing. This city they have. So you know, we're trying to figure out how to get all this content out to everybody before it gets spread out, right? Today is day one. We're here with Mopar, obviously Moparian channel. Um, and we're gonna make sure that we get some content out there for the people that couldn't come and you guys share it like, you know, the drill. But, yeah. you know, we're hanging out today with this VIP, right? <laughs> so he showed up today and it made our day so much better. Um, so of course you know that because you guys are subscribed to this guy, but you know, big Mopar guy and just all around good dude. So make sure you show him some love and, and uh, keep following what he's doing. But, you know, we're going to have some fun while we're out yes, here we in Vegas today. I got yes. you, bro. I got you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and plug. So they started a YouTube channel. If you're not on the Facebook group or on their Instagram for the Moharian page, I'm going to go ahead and do that because we got uh, Rico over here. You lead most of the, the media coverage for the YouTube channel. Or is it a combination effort? You know, it's kind of all these guys. Do shit. They don't do shit. They don't do shit. <laughs> so I'm going to plug that in there, man. Just the face. You just know? the face. Just the, talent, the face, you know? the cameras, I all the behind the scenes. So, I take all the credit and Ricky does the work. Right? <laughs> Boom. So I'm just vlogging. These guys are out here actually trying to get some good, actual cinematic coverage for you guys. So check out that YouTube page. Subscribe. Hit them guys up, man. 
I can't wait to see what they're doing, man. This is a new venture for them because the Facebook group and the Instagram page is already blowing up. So let's just see where it goes. I'm gonna hang out with these guys to kind of tag along and hide in the shadows. See what I can get you guys. Bert and the Twerk Stallion. Y'all give it up for them. We need to get these. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We have a very special guest starting off the burn yard today. Who's familiar with the Twerk Stallion? Thing. What uh, what type of sauce do you have under the hood here? It's actually all stock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, V6 4.0, 
the motor that came with the truck, that's what's doing it right now. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Stock, Stop. bringing a stock truck to SEMA <laughs> and holding it down. Good thing with the truck, you can put your body panels in the bed when you break them off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for Zach! Yeah! How many eagles? 669 at the crank, 530 at the tire. That's a whole lot of America right there. Can I get a hip hip? Hip hip! hip, hip. hip. Hey. Let's go! Oh, oh one sec. Oh, look. Pointed at, uh, oh man, I think I lost my voice. <clears throat> All right, so that Hoonigan was pretty legit. Uh, I think yelling messed up my voice already, which sucks because we're only halfway through the first day. Can't be losing my voice already. But it was pointed out that earlier today in the Mopar area with everybody, with Pedro and the Moparian group, that I didn't even have my external mic plugged in. So up until the Hoonigan area, we didn't have the new external mic hooked up, so hopefully this is gonna give you guys better audio than before. And I won't make the mistake again, because I know in my previous video that I uploaded last night, everybody is, is saying that they enjoy it. The audio content is much better than before. So I gotta be a little bit more conscious of my new setup. It's a little different than what it was before with me just walking around holding the camera. So let's see what else we got for the day. So what you guys think? Y'all think I need some Oracle lights on the car? Should I do it? Should I be should I be like the rest of the Mopar scene and go ahead and get me some color changing DRLs and the headlights and why not, right? We'll see what I do. A little behind the scenes of an interview. It's kind of cool. Hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry, right, we're holding. I was recording. Um, okay, you have to tell me if it's a video. <laughs> Alright, I won't post this. I do. A. Are you trying a. to get us on? I mean, I can. Are you getting. I'm Is this a recording? Yeah, I am recording. Hey guys, we're here at SEMA getting some t shirts. Follow me on Instagram, Child of God333. Ooh, with the shameless plug. I like it. That's how you do it. These guys are nice. trouble. I'm not trouble. I just like free stuff. So I got my free t shirt. 
but I think we got that poor girl in trouble. Like as soon as she, I'm gonna have a seizure with that light. So as soon as uh, she did all the information for that, her uh, supervisor came over and relieved her. Uh, she, she went on lunch. I don't know. Um, Whatever. She might got in trouble, bro. But she was fun though. She was. She went with it though. That's what we were talking about. Like, you gotta came interact. over. You gotta interact when you're out here. Other than that, like you're just sitting there taking people's information, being all boring and shit the whole day. <laughs> So is a convertible Jeep. That's what it looks like. Bolt back. The problem with the soft tops, in my opinion, is that it's not. When it's cold outside, it's cold. It's like having a soft top. I'd much rather have a hard top, take it off. That's me personally. Because if you've ever driven a Jeep in the winter and it's cold outside, it takes a long time for that thing to heat up. So I feel like that would take a long time to heat up with a soft. It's basically a soft top that you can retract and do on your own. So. But people like it, I guess. That screen that Velcro's in up here? Pardon? Is that screen that Velcro's in up here? There is the Velcro, this one is not fixed. It will have rivets. Rivets to fix it. Okay. And the Velcro will keep it all good. How tall are you? 6'2? <laughs> Six 6'2. Two? Six two. That's yeah. what I was checking to make sure I can fully lay down. Fully laid out? Yeah. Right. I like that. Yeah, that's... So, I can dig this. Like, that's something that you go out, you actually, well, I need a Jeep first. But, I can dig that. That's a, uh, I could camp out on top of a Jeep. So we got Stradman's wide body. Rocket Bunny Super right here. And we've got Schmee. <laughs> this guy right here is awesome if you don't follow me on YouTube. He's busy working. I gotta go. I just lost most of the group I was with anyway. We're here at CAT scans. Uh, 
still with uh, the Moparian group. And I mean, man, there's a lot of these uh, Hellcats walk Jeeps. Gladiator. I got a cow, guys. Apparently, these are really sought after. I learned something new. So it's been a crazy day already. It's, I don't know, four o'clock or so here. I've been here since eight. Now, I know you guys know I haven't shown everything that I've walked around and done. So I'm gonna try to compress these videos and try to give you guys just a little bit of my experience here because I'm also taking it in and meeting people and talking picking up stickers and stuff so this is a vacation for me as well as checking some stuff out but I'm just trying to give y'all some highlights some cool stuff you know hanging out with people just a good vlog experience uh, because I don't think that I or I know I don't have the capability to give y'all the experience of SEMA without actually being here and taking it in yourself we're about to head to the Mopar booth again which is where this video started because at 426, they're revealing their secret car, which I actually don't know what it is. So we'll see you here in a little bit. The man himself. <laughs> Hell of a line just to do that. Uh, it's cool to meet celebrities and stuff, and I mean, Chip Foos is an icon himself, but I don't do lines, guys. I, just, I hate standing in lines. So we got out here way too late for the Mopar conference, <laughs> but I'm back here in the back. We got four minutes and five seconds till it starts. We'll see. I can see the screen from where I'm at. Sorry, there's like a, like a lot of people here. But it's all good. I'll show you guys the reveal from the screen from all the way back here. Best I can do. We got here way too late. There's a lot of people. I'll show you. Our service parts and customer care. So Pedro and I didn't get a good spot. Yes, thank you. We're way back here, but. Look at that, look at that. 700 plus, rising, boom, 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 boy. 426, here's the best seat in the house right here. I think we might just watch it on the Mopar and feed on the Facebook group. Oh, mm -hmm. love you Mopar. Introducing the new fourth generation Dodge Challenger Drag Pack. The Challenger Drag Pack is our track only purpose built drag pack, representing our continued commitment to keeping sportsman drag racers competitive. It's engineered for grassroots racers competing in NHRA and NCAA sportsman classes. The simple goal to get our drivers to shop. Seems like Copo and uh, Cobra Jet got some competition now. They kill, bro. It's over. It's over. What are they? We'll find <laughs> out. I'm going to need your help. We're going to count to three. When we get done, Liz is going to fire this up. So, ready? One.
Demonology himself? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's yes, up, sir. What's going on? How you doing, I don't man? even know if you remember me, boss. <laughs> I remember you, man. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Hey, I've been meaning to... I got to talk with you after your live here. Fine, fine, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 hit me on Instagram, and I'll, I'll give you my number. I hit you on... Yeah. All right. Actually, I got something good. Okay. I can't even talk, bro. I've already lost my voice today. I already got your number. I'll text you. Okay. Time. Take, right. take over, bro. So we here with Demonology, man. He got that prime footage up there. <laughs> I saw you walking around. Hey, you, man. Hey, they, there, hey, man. Hey, hey, they need to give me one of them cars. Let me make it do what it do. That's what I was going to ask you. So, <laughs> so how the Demon go hold up over there? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. I saw you've been playing with that Cobra Jet lately, hey, too. Hey, that's my race coach. Man. I know. He won't be running that thing. And you make some good footage with it, too. Yeah. Oh. oh, man, he's fast. He's fast. But, but with this car right here, oh, we. Oh, see? See, I heard it. So now Demonology going to try to snatch some souls with a, with a drag pack? I, I, you hey, I wish they would give me one. I'll make it do what <laughs> Give me do. one. Yeah. You, you just give me one. See what happens. All right. All right. Well, now, guys, I'm out. We got to chat a little bit with Demonology. We got to see the drag pack up close. I'm gonna head back over here. We out, man. If you enjoyed this, go ahead, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.